Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.4. Before we get started, open system settings and make sure that you are on version 11.4. If your 3DS is on a lower firmware version than 11.4, use the tutorial I have linked below. If you are on 11.4, note down your entire firmware version, including the letter at the end. We will need to use it later in the video. Before we can continue, you'll need two things. You'll need a new 3DS or new 3DS XL, and you'll also need the 3DS game Cubic Ninja. Old 3DSs and 2DSs can't be homebrewed on version 11.4 right now, but they will be able to in the future. Also in the future, Cubic Ninja may not be required. I'll leave all of the updates on this homebrew on my Facebook and Twitter. If you do have a new 3DS and Cubic Ninja, we can get started right now. Since we are all using new 3DSs and the backplate to my 3DS is pretty much broken from last time, open up System Settings, then go into Micro SD Management. After you create a name and password, you'll be taken to this screen. Also, make sure your 3DS is on the same Wi-Fi network as your PC. Now on your computer, open up File Explorer, then choose Network. You should see that your 3DS is on your network. Double click it. Then enter the username and password which should be displayed on your 3DS. Now that you're connected to your 3DS's micro SD card over your network, click the link below named Homebrew Files. When the page loads, scroll down and download the Homebrew Starter Kit, then save it to your desktop. Here, enter your entire 3DS firmware version, which you noted down from earlier. After you've done that, press the button which says Download Other App, then save it to your desktop. Extract the starter folder to your desktop and you should see this boot.3dsx file and this folder. Drag them to your desktop. Now rename this file to other app and make sure you type it exactly as I am. Make sure you don't type in the .bin part, your computer will add it automatically, sometimes it's invisible. Now send the free files to your 3DS. Before we continue, make sure your computer has finished sending the files to your 3DS. Next, on your 3DS, go back to the home menu, then open Cubic Ninja.
Press A and it will take you to this screen. Hold down L, R, X and Y at the same time, then choose Yes, Clear All Data. This will only clear out Cubic Ninja's data. It won't touch anything on your 3DS. Now tap create, then tap QR code. Then tap scan QR code. You can see the camera on your 3DS turns on. We're going to be scanning some QR codes now. Click on the link below named Ninja Hacks and it'll take you to this page. Scroll down, then enter your firmware version, which you noted down earlier. Then click update QR code. Now take your 3DS and scan the QR code. When the black bar on the top of the bottom screen disappears, press the B button, then press the A button. After that, press the next button on your browser and it will make a new QR code. Scan the new QR code on your 3DS. Repeat this process 16 more times. After you scanned all of the QR codes, go back to the QR code menu, then press the B button. Now all you have to do is tap QR code and you'll be taken to the Homebrew Launcher. And that's it, you've now homebrewed your new Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.4. I have videos which are linked below showing you how to get unlimited play coins, custom themes for your home menu and emulator. To exit the homebrew launcher and return to the home menu, press the start button, then press the X button. To open the homebrew launcher again, just open Cubic Ninja and go back into the QR code section. You won't have to scan any more QR codes. Well, that's all for today. My name is Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video. If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below and I'll feature your channel in the video if your idea gets chosen.